My friend Karen Lewing says we live on a postcard here. It's one of the most breathtaking, awe-inspiring uh, views I've ever seen. I love the fact that I can go out and ride my bike. <gasps> Incredible beauty. The most compelling or unique thing about Polson, maybe the diversity. Being on the Flathead Indian Reservation, we've got wonderful uh, heritage of the Native Americans and a lot of people that have come along since the reservation was opened in 1910. People here in Polson are community-minded. Uh, they're interested in giving back to the community. They're interested in opportunities that are available. And uh, if the opportunities are not here, uh, chances are they're interested in trying to get them here. Not necessarily the strongest economic place in Montana, but the people who are here are here generally because they want to be here. We smile here, we slow down, we, we talk to each other, we visit. This community is one of the most warm communities I've ever lived in. Uh, the beauty outside is our lakes and our mountain, and the beauty inside is the people and the caring. I feel like we have a, a lot to offer, and I feel like we're really heading in a direction to capitalize on some of that. There's always pressure on small towns. The, the highway's been widened and improved, and it's real easy just to forget about Polson and drive to Missoula and do your major shopping there, and that troubles me. My biggest hope for the commute future of Polson is to see some revitalization of downtown, like down the street. I'd like to see something very specific done with that building and then come together as a community. What I hope for the future of Polson is we maintain our community feel, which means the friendly atmosphere. I'd like to see more uh, vital businesses that sustain 12 months a year, uh, certainly uh, take the environment into consideration. We really, really need professional help uh, to move this forward in a very positive way. This year, we're really proud that we were able to add $50,000 to the um, endowment of the Greater Polson Foundation. There's been a lot of interest in the Envision Polson project because people want to see a positive change here. What I see the grant providing an opportunity to do to bring um, an increasingly diverse group of stakeholders together and engage people um, around, a, around a process whereby the community as a whole can make some decisions about what it wants to be and where it wants to go. Um, the relationships between the, uh, between the Indian and non-Indian communities um, on the reservation and specifically Polson have never been better than they are uh, right now. The best they've ever been in my adult life. It thrills me uh, be because, um, because we're going back to, um, to a, a more holistic approach of, uh, of us rather than me and you. Um, I think that's at the, the heart and soul of who we are and who we've come back to be. Spoos is the word for heart in, in, uh, in the Salish language and, and it is at our spoos um, that the idea of, um, uh, of, of cooperation, cooperation and working together. And I, th I think this grant um, will be uh, part of the catalyst and this, this grant will go a long ways towards uh, allowing us to to share the blessings that we have, which is this community. Mm -hmm.